Well, talk about a girl power movie. I went back to Mike Nichols' Working Girl from 1988 to revisit a film that really impressed me way back then. And just looking at the opening credits, you're blown away by the talent involved in its making. Mike Nichols, director. Michael Balha, cinematographer. Production design by Patricia von Brandenstein. Costumes by Anne Roth. Rousing music by Carly Simon, who won an Oscar for best song, Let the River Run. And an all-star cast led by Melanie Griffith as Tess, a girl from Staten Island, who, although she spent five years studying for her degree at night, remains a lowly secretary, despite her skills. Her new boss is Catherine Parker, Sigourney Weaver. Call me Catherine, we're a team. But Tess is still the drudge in Catherine's life. So, how do you think the party's going? Pretty well, I think. Should I stop serving now? Hmm, better make one more round. Right. I'd love to help you, but you can't busy the quarterback with passing out the Gatorade. Arnie, my hero, you come. Catherine wants ideas, but when Tess brings her a proposal about a company she represents, it seems to go no further. When Catherine is injured on the ski slopes and Tess is asked to look after her apartment, she finds evidence that Catherine has been stealing her ideas and passing them off as her own. So Tess takes over Catherine's office, her clothes, jewellery, and goes on the move to create something for herself meeting up with Jack Trainer Harrison Ford on the way, who also happens to be Catherine's boyfriend. Together, they dodge bullets as they pitch her idea to the head of Trask Industries, Philip Bosco. This woman is my secretary. She's not? Oh, no? Ask her. You're not her secretary? I can explain, Jack. Oh, Jesus, you are her secretary. Okay. It's all so enjoyable all these years later. It's over 30 years old, but it still speaks volumes about the position of women in the workplace. Alec Baldwin plays Tess's boyfriend from Staten Island. Kevin Spacey has a brief role as a sleaze, as does Oliver Platt. And Joan Cusack, in wild hair and makeup, plays Tess's friend Sid. It's amazing how so much has changed since then, and yet, so little. It's a film for the moment. Four and a half stars. <laughs> you okay? Mm, I'm fine. I'm just fine. I took an um, antihistamine before, <laughs> and it just makes for a nice little buzz. Oh, I didn't know they let bad girls into these things. Do I look like I don't belong here? I have a head for business and a bod for sin. Is there anything wrong with that? <laughs> 